Hi there, here's a short video looking at trade unions in the labour market and analysing and evaluating three points with regard to this question. Evaluate the view that trade unions help improve outcomes in the labour market. So looking to build three key points and then evaluate each point in turn. First point, trade unions can use their collective bargaining power to increase the real wages of their members and therefore improve welfare. Building short chain of analysis here, the added collective power of, of unions negotiating on behalf of their members, real wages, and linking it to welfare. But then we need to evaluate. However, if wages rise faster than productivity, then firms will see an increase in their unit costs. And this can negatively affect profit and eventually lead to less jobs. Of course, crucially here, you would probably add in an analysis diagram to support the first point. Second argument, unions can act as a counter to the monopsony power of employers who may pay lower wages and spend less on worker training. It'd be good to include an example there, an applied example like Sports Direct or Amazon perhaps, and also perhaps use a monopsony analysis diagram. But in this video we're focusing on the evaluation. Here's the evaluation. A monopsony employer does not always pay lower wages than they need to. Many employers understand a positive link between pay and productivity. This is the so-called efficiency wage theory. Now we're looking to build a third point. Unions can help prevent structural unemployment by campaigning against job losses caused, for example, by import dumping. So uh, an example there could be the campaign against uh, imports of uh, steel from China that allegedly have been dumped into the European market, costing jobs in Britain. But a counter evaluation point, however, Unions may impede competitiveness if they seek to block the use of technologies that replace some workers with robots. In our exam technique here, we're making a point, often trying to build in some good analysis, chains of reasoning, and perhaps a diagram, and then we're looking to evaluate the point we've made. This is the really key thing about good evaluation at A-level. 